Hey everyone, it's Laura, and today's video is about Landon's, oh hi Chester, 18 month the cats love the teepee. Landon just likes putting her chair in the teepee. So um, today's video is about Landon's 18 month update. Um, she's asleep right now, I thought we would do it with her, but she woke up really late today. Um, she's been teething, so it takes her a while to get to sleep, so sometimes her schedule gets off. And speaking of schedule, I thought that would be a good place to start. Landon's typical routine, I aim for a wake up at 7.30 and a sleep at 7.30. Like I said, that can get thrown off because she can sleep in or take a long nap or she takes a while just to unwind at night and go to sleep and then she sleeps in. So that can get a little messed up and if I will link below our floor bed um, unboxing, but that's been an amazing experience. So she has a floor bed and so it's really up to her when she goes to bed. So she can play, she can read books and Sometimes she's in there for like an hour just hanging out. Her routine is um, sometimes my husband is here and he'll get her, um, but if he's not and she's sleeping in, then I do my best to get breakfast done. So usually it's oatmeal, eggs, um, cereal, um, waffles, things like that. So I do my best to have breakfast ready for her when she comes down because she's usually very hungry. I take her a milk up in her room. She's still not a big milk drinker, but um, she'll drink some and then we get yogurt in her as well. So wake up, eat breakfast, and she's a very slow eater. She can take like 30 to 45 minutes and she is a really good eater. I think we have a little bit of a strange eating pattern or eating routine, but it works for us. So I offer her milk two to three times a day. She probably only drinks like six to 10 ounces depending on the day. Um, but we basically eat four meals or she does, not me. She eats four meals a day. And like I said, she's an amazing eater, so um, I th she gets enough <laughs> to eat and she is tracking on her percentile of weight and she hasn't gone down at all. And she's always just a really good eater. So, um, so breakfast and then this is her temporary playroom. We're about to redo that kitchen and the wall's coming down in about a month behind me. And then her playroom's gonna go in the basement. We're gonna live in the basement for a month. That's awesome for us. Um, but she is, she comes into the playroom and I'm in the kitchen next door and I go, go to the playroom and she usually colors on her table. And then, oh, the sun just came out. So she comes in the playroom and I clean up after breakfast and then we color and play. We have dance parties. We run around and I chase her. Um, once a week, we go to the grocery store. Um, I try to get her outside, even if it's just for five minutes, bundle her up. It's in the middle of winter in Pennsylvania. So it's like in the 30s this week. But just to get outside, um, we live in the woods, so there's lots of woods and birds and deer to see. And then usually about two and a half to three hours after she finishes breakfast, we um, work on lunch together. We have a learning tower. I'll link that one below, that unboxing. And um, it's a, an amazing learning tower. It's adjustable. So we will make lunch together and we eat lunch together. And then we wind down for bedtime, for nap time. Um, and I try to keep her awake about five hours. So with her floor bed and her taking her time and she's been teething, her last molars are coming and so she's been really clingy lately. So I try to get up there and give her lots of loves and cuddles and I love it because she's not a cuddly um, toddler at all. But when she's going to bed this past week, she's been super cuddly. So that's our like five hour morning and then she's in her room for two hours. So um, usually she's in there for more, probably two and a half to three hours. So she plays, goes to sleep, and then uh, we do kind of a slow waking up. She has a smart nursery, so I can ask 
um, I can turn the lights on through an app or ask Alexa and then um, she can play a little bit while I get her milk ready and usually we have a yogurt because she loves yogurt so much and I want to make sure she gets calcium so we usually do a yogurt oh wow there's an eagle soaring so it's another five hour cycle of the same thing we play um, take her to Longwood uh, Daddy, when he does get home, he's been working a lot. He has a he had a promotion and he's just been working so much. So um, he usually gets home between six and six thirty. So I try to have dinner ready by then. That way we can all eat together, which she loves. She goes, "Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy," when we sit at the table together. And then um, my husband does bath times when he's home, and we usually take a bath every other night and um and then i put her to bed or if there if it isn't bath night and he's home then he puts her to bed and that is her routine so let's talk about what landon is obsessed with um she likes a good theme like her mom and dad i think she was obsessed with pumpkins at halloween and now she's obsessed with christmas tree and um she calls small tree for her tree big tree for the family tree and she um love stars so the big star on top is amazing to her and she's absolutely obsessed with the song oh christmas tree by george Strait. we listen to it 10 times a day at least and it gets requested about a hundred times a day so that's something i've been working on with her is one minute landon give me 10 seconds like with just trying to teach her sort of phrases to let her know that she needs to be patient um, it's the cutest thing. She points and goes, oh tree, oh tree. And then it comes on and she holds her Christmas tree and sucks on her left hand. And she's like sentimental about it. Like my husband's like, how are you sentimental? You're 18 months. It's the cutest thing. The most thing that she does all day is color. Uh, I've ordered her a new adjustable chair and table it should arrive soon it's for christmas because this is kind of crappy so we've been using this and i have this tray and i tape down paper and she literally colors all day like non-stop colors all day and it's the cutest thing and she goes circle circle big circle small circle star Star. And I'm like in the kitchen and she's just like talking to herself and she's made a star before I swear and she makes big circles and then she'll whoever's in here with her it's like star star and she'll like yell at you to make a star so coloring all day balls is probably the next thing she's obsessed with she loves to throw balls she loves to say two balls and she puts one in each hand she can kick balls um, she's got balls of every size. She's obsessed with the letter X. She's obsessed with the color yellow. Okay, so let's talk about walking. She did, she could walk probably since around 11 or 12 months. Like she had taken a couple steps here and there. She did not take off until I think it was right after she turned 17 months, like maybe a week after. She would do it a lot for my husband. Um, I don't know why maybe he encouraged her but i kind of took the montessori approach and i was like follow the child and not pressure her i think he put some pressure on her so maybe it worked but the other thing that really helped is so we went from the crib to the floor bed she was taking like eight to ten steps with my husband in the playroom um when he was home and then when we got the floor bed she just started taking off she would fall a lot from the bed to the door so that, for, I don't know why, it's like some sort of freedom and a pathway she saw, but that really helped get her into it for some reason. So she was a very late walker and, um, and then about a week after she, it was Thanksgiving, so maybe two weeks, a week or so after she really started walking, she fell really bad outside. So um, we were walking up the driveway and I wasn't holding her hand because you know she loved the independence and she made a quick right and took off down um where it was sloped and she fell pretty badly and then she couldn't put weight on it um it was really hard for her to put weight on it and she kept on it kept on like buckling and she kept on falling 
So um, I called the nurse and they're like, go to urgent care. <laughs> Could have been dislocated, you don't know. So we had to go in there an hour later and x-rays, everything was fine, but it must have been a sprain. So that slowed her down on walking, but she, she's running now, she's walking, she loves it. She goes, run, run, and then we run together and I chase her and she chases me. So um, she was not a big walker, but what she is, is a big talker. So I think it was around my husband's birthday, so the end of September, maybe like 15 and a half months. Yeah, that sounds right. She just started talking. Um, sunshine, yellow, uh, mommy, daddy, uh, taggy, Sadie, Chester, our cats, like saying so many words and um, repeating them. And it's just been so much fun to watch. She loves talking. And you can see it in her face when like she says a new word, she kind of looks at me like, that was awesome. <laughs> so I'm doing, I've been doing as much as I can to encourage that. Um, really going out on our walks in the fall and um, bamboo, Her those were her biggest words. So stick, bamboo, we have a Buddha in the Zen garden, her swing, leaves, rocks. Like she was saying all those words and it was a very um, sensorial experience going on walks and going to these things. And um, so I think that really helped her and encouraged her to do a lot of talking. We just had her 18 month appointment a couple days ago. And the doctor, I don't know, maybe she was blowing smoke, but she seemed completely impressed with all of her vocabulary. Um, she's definitely over 100 words. I don't know where she is. She says like 10 new words a day. She's repeating everything I say. She's so freaking cute. I do my best not to say no, so when she does something like make a mess or um, she makes a mess with her milk and sippy cup. So whenever she makes a mess, I started going, Landon, honey. So now she goes, honey. And it, it's like I die. So um, even this morning, she, I said, Landon, can you help me like pick up your bibs? And she goes, Landon, honey, <laughs> ran off. I was like, awesome. Some of the things she said, she loves colors, so she knows so many colors from coloring. Like I said, yellows. In the very beginning, every color was yellow and every letter was X. But now um, she knows a lot of letters. She knows X, she knows A, she knows L, she knows R, she knows G. Um, and she loves learning what they are. She blows me away with her book. So I, there's this book I always read her. It was her favorite book to go um, that night to a couple months ago. And I try to rotate books so they, it was put away and I read it for the first time in like three or four weeks last week and um i was like let me see if she knows this so i would if she was saying words i didn't even know she knew so um so i was reading the book and i would stop for the last word and she would say it and she said every single one on every page and then she did it again with another book the next night oh she can say landon she can land it i think does she say the l maybe it's yandon landon yandon so her name is Landon Josephine Law. So she says, Josa. She hasn't said, she's kind of said Fiend a little. And then she goes, Los. Cause I go, Landon. And she goes, Josa. And I go, Fiend. And we go, Los. We live in the woods here and her high chair is in front of the big sliders. So we see birds and deer all the time while she's eating. So I, I show her like birds, fly in the sky so now she does that all the time she starts going like this and she says birds fly sky and then she'll like run around and do it and say it and then we say fish swim in the and she says wadi for water i mean just she's so freaking cute i can't i love this age it's so much fun just you know to she's discovering the world and everything through her eyes and it's 
so cute. One other thing I do to encourage language is that when she really likes a word, I'll, pl I'll like try to find a song that has that, like Yellow by Coldplay when she liked Yellow. She knows that song, the first couple notes come on and she says Yellow. And she loves stars, so it has stars in there and she like jams out and she says booty, shake your booty. And then she loves X's, so we play that song X's and O's. She does say some phrases. So she'll say star on top of the tree. And I think she said star on top of the big tree the other day as well. And then um, one of the things I did to try to, to, try to get her to drink milk uh, around 12 months, because she completely refused it at first, is I would feed it to her Anna doll um, from Frozen. So like a couple, so she started doing Anna, drink your milky. Um, so she's saying little phrases and she's just, like I said, she'll repeat phrases that I say, but it's so funny that at this age, once they get into something that they really get into it and the Montessori way teaches, you know, follow the lead and, um, just encourage it cause it's something she's interested in and she's really going to take off with it if it's something that she likes. She's almost 23 pounds, so she's in the 51st percentile for um, weight, and she is 2 feet 8.76 inches, which is 77th percentile. Her head circumference is 72nd percentile, and she's still in size 3 <laughs> diapers. <laughs> she's been in them for so long. The other thing she said is because she is um, so good at talking and verbalizing and probably understanding as well, which I think she does understand, I mean, I know she understands so much, um, that's probably part of the reason she doesn't have a lot of temper tantrums and I also think I just give her so much freedom and if you aren't aware, we've been doing Montessori at home since 14 months, I found it. And it's been amazing for me, for her, and she is thriving in it and doing so well. I'm doing my best to not use the word no. When I was using the word no, I'm sure it's the way I said it because the way you say no is different from any other word and it's kind of very harsh. So she, whenever I would say it, which I would try to limit it as much as possible, but it would slip out, she would get a gleam in her eye and she would go, no, no, no. And she would repeat it and you could see like the rebellion. I, I like, it's just, it's a better way of talking to her. I don't say no, I say, let's not do that because you can hurt yourself. Let's not do this because you're making a mess and then we have to clean it up and we need to take care of our things. So I just, and it's also these phrases I use over and over and she's understanding it and I do my best not to say no and it's very rare that I do say no. And then I don't want her to know that phones are fun. Um, and I, whenever I use my phone around her, I try to hide it like in my lap and I kind of like look back and forth and like if she's busy then I'll get on my phone and kind of hide it in my lap. Um, whenever we FaceTime, I use a iPad and then um, just recently I've started like watching a movie, like a family movie once a week and that's the only screen time that she really gets or if I need to file her nails but I try to do that movie time once a week and I just like it. It's fun for the three of us to snuggle up on the couch together and watch a movie once a week. So um, that's sort of my um, lenience on screen time because I do see a difference if she does watch it and she knows about it and she can get obsessed with it and very determined and fussy about it. And there's no need for that and I don't know. I just try to limit it as much as possible. So I think that is all for Landon's 18 month update and we're so excited. We have Christmas coming up and then Disney on ice and then a Disney vacation and then um, our kitchen renovation, which will be exciting but suck as well. Safety. Hi. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, 
you see stars? Yeah. What? Chesty. <laughs> and Sadie. Chester and Sadie are in your playroom. You say cheers? Cheers. Happy. Happy. Yeah. You say big tree? Big tree. Small tree? A big tree. A big tree? A big tree. You say big star? A big star. Can you say small star? You say big circle. A big circle. Circle. A circle. A circle. Big circle. Big circle. Purple big star. Pink star. You want mommy to draw one? Big star. Big star. You want a small star? Hey, Lenny, can you say, honey? Honey. Who's Hi. that? Is that mommy and Landon? No. <laughs> Sadie, is that the tree? We do nose to nose? Nose. She goes nose to nose. It's my way of like getting her to kiss me. Do you nose to nose? No. Thank you. Hot dog. Hot dog. Camera. Camera? Lana, can you show show them how it flies? Say the birds fly in the sky. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can you say Landon? Landon. Landon? Oh, purple. Purple. Josa? Oh, Josa. Fien? Uh, a pink. A lot. Okay, we have to color on the paper now. Bye, guys. Oh.